Hello, I am Saudavani, Principal Janvi Morigav Asa. In the following five videos, I wish to discuss the concept on matrices like definition, type of matrices, transpose of a matrix, then inverse of a matrix, operation on matrix, etc. Now, in the present class, I would like to discuss the definition of a matrix, type of matrices and equality of matrices. Let us go directly to the definition of the matrix. Now, matrix is an ordered rectangular array of numbers or functions into rows and columns. Here an example, the horizontal one it is known as rows and the vertical ones are columns. Two rows and three columns are there. There comes the question, connecting these rows and columns, what is the order of the matrix? Order of the matrix is the number of rows by number of columns. So, if there are m rows and n columns, the order of the matrix is m by n. In this example, a is of order 2 by 3 and p is of order 2 by 2. If the order is m by n, clearly there will be mn elements. Here, 6 elements are there, here 4 elements are there. Now, in this example, A, A1, it is a general matrix, it is of order 2 by 2. Usually, the matrix is denoted by the capital letters of English alphabet. Here, a general matrix is given of order M by N. Horizontal 1, see, M rows are there and vertical 1, N columns are there. Totally, Mn elements are there. Here, concentrate on here, A, I1, A, I2, etc., A, I, J, A, I, N. This is the ith row and this one, it is a general column, it is jth column. So, A, I, J is a general element of the matrix which belongs to ith row and jth column. And using this A, A, I, J, we can denote the matrix A is equal to matrix A, I, J with the order M by N. This is a way of re representing a matrix using the general element where I varies from 1 to M, J varies from 1 to n, where i and j belongs to n, set of natural numbers. Now, there comes type of matrices. How many types of matrices are there? What are the different types of matrices? First one, it is a row matrix. From the word itself, row matrix, it consists of only one row. And n number of columns. Examples, from all these examples, you can see only one row, one column, one row, two column, one row, three column, one row, four columns. Depending upon that, generally it will be of 1 by n, a row matrix. Similarly, it comes to column matrix. Column matrix, different examples it is given. See, only one column in each matrix, but there are different number of rows. Now, next comes the square matrix. What is the square matrix? In, in the square matrix, the number of rows will be equal to number of columns. Here, it is a 2 by 2 matrix, it is a 2 by 2 and this one is a 3 by 3 matrix. But we won't say 3 by 3 matrix, 2 by 2 matrix or m by m matrix. Simply we say a square matrix of order 2, a square matrix is of order 3, a square matrix of order n. Here, in a square matrix, all a, i, j where i equal to j are known as diagonal elements. Here a11, a22 are diagonal elements, 0, 7, 4 are diagonal elements. 2 and 4 are known as diagonal elements. Next comes diagonal matrix. Now clearly diagonal matrix is a square matrix. In a square matrix, see these examples, non-diagonal elements are 0. All the non-diagonal elements are 0 and that is why it is known as a diagonal matrix. A11, A22, diagonal elements, it is a diagonal matrix, why also a diagonal matrix. Then comes the concept of scalar matrix. What is the scalar matrix? Scalar matrix is a square matrix. Scalar matrix is a diagonal matrix. And clearly you can see that are diagonal elements x, x. 9, 9, 9. A square, A square, A square. So what do you understand? In a scalar matrix, all the diagonal elements are same and it is a scalar. Now comes to the concept of identity matrix. See, identity matrix, some examples it is given here. Identity matrix is a square matrix. Number of rows equal to number of columns. It is a diagonal matrix. It is a scalar matrix. But the only difference, all the diagonal elements are 1. Here we say this I1, it's of order 1. This is an identity matrix of order 2. And it is denoted by I2. 
This is an identity matrix of order 3 and it is denoted by I3. Now comes the concept of zero matrix. It's very clear. All the elements are zero. Whatever be the order, all the elements are zero in a zero matrix. Now, the very important concept of matrices, that is equality of matrices. If two matrices are given, are they equal? Two matrices can be equal or not. If they can be equal, under what condition? Now see, here, if A and B are two matrices, these two matrices A equal to B, if and only if order of A is equal to order of B, and Aij equal to Bij for all I and J. Here we say A11 equal to B11. A33 equal to B33. A21 equal to B21. That is the corresponding elements are equal. So this is a very important concept. Order of A must be equal to order of B and Aij equal to Bij for every I and J. It is very important. Now here one example it is given. Example is given. These two matrices are equal. We know this is of order 3 by 2, this is of order 3 by 2, order of A equal to order of B. Now, corresponding elements are equal. So, X equal to 2, B equal to 3, A equal to 0, and telling first the variable, unknown one. Y equal to 1, Q, P equal to 5, Q is equal to 8. One more example it is given. Two matrices are equal. Then, we can equating the corresponding elements, M is equal to negative 1, y equal to 0, n equal to 5, and x equal to n. This is a very important concept, equality of matrices. Now comes exercise 3.1. Now let us solve some important problems of exercise 3.1. So that the, all the concepts, whatever is taught, will be very clear to you. Okay? Now, we discussed definition, order of a matrix, different types of matrices, and equality of matrices. Now, relating all these things, let us go through exercise 3.1, some of the problems. You see the first one, a matrix is given, order of the matrix you are asked to write the number of elements and write some of the elements. See here, there are three rows and four columns, so order of the matrix is 3 by 4. Since the order is 3 by 4, there will be 3 into 4, that is 12 elements will be there. Here, one A13, what is A13? A13 belongs to first row and... Third column, it is 19. Next, it is A21. Second row and first column, which is 35. Similarly, you can write the other elements. Second question, you see, if a matrix has 24 elements, what are the possible orders it can have? We know, for getting 24, one combination of two factors, it is 1 and 24. So, one possibility, it is 1 by 24. And therefore, 24 by 1. Next, if you consider 2 and 12, 2 into 12 is 24, so 2 by 12 is a possible order and 12 by 12, 12 by 2 is also a possible order. Similarly, we know 3 and 8, 3 into 8, 24, 3, so 3 by 8 is one order, 8 by 3, another matrix. Next, 4 and 6 and 6 and 4, so there are 8 possible orders. These are the matrices. Next question it is, Suppose uh, in the second question itself, if it has 13 elements, we know already 13 is a prime number. So no other factors other than 1 and 13. So only two possibilities are there, 1 by 13 and 13 by 1. Two possibilities are there. Next, uh, a similar question it is 18 elements, 5 elements and all you can do it. Next, the fourth one it is, giving AIJ construct a 2 by 2 matrix. AIJ is given... So, a 2 by 2 matrix consists of 4 elements, A11, A12, A21, A22. In that, substituting the value of I and J, first one it is so easy, second one also easy. In this, we will do the third one, as well as in fifth, the first question we will do. Now, go to seventh, uh, sixth one, find the value of X, Y, Z. Simple one it is, corresponding elements we have to equate. Here we are using the equality of matrices, already order is equal. Corresponding elements y equal to 4, z equal to 3, x equal to 1. Similarly, these problems also we can do. Now, let us see seventh one. Uh, instead of giving directly some variable a minus b 2a plus c 2a minus b 3c plus d, it is given like that. So, it involves some sorting of equations. So, we will do this also. So, fourth, third, and five first one, and seventh one we will do. Here, we have to frame a 2 by 2 matrix where the element is defined as aij is equal to i plus 2j whole square by 2. 
So when we say it's a two by two matrix, we have a clear picture that there will be four elements, two rows and two columns. Now we have to find out the corresponding elements. First element A11 is equal to I plus 2J, 1 plus 2 into 1 whole square by 2, which is equal to 1 plus 2, 3 square, 9 by 2. A21 is equal to, A12 we will find out next. A12 is equal to 1 plus 2 into 2 whole square by 2, which is equal to 1 plus 4, 5 by 2. 5 square is 25 by 2. Then next we will find out A21. A21 is equal to 2 plus 2 into 1 whole square by 2, which is equal to 2 plus 3 is 4 square is 16 by 2. Next last one it is A22 is equal to 2 plus 2 into 2 whole square by 2, which is equal to 4 plus 2 6, 6 square is 36 by 2. So we are going to write the matrix A is equal to matrix. Now, first element it is 9 by 2. Then second it is 20, 25 by 2. 9 by 2, 25 by 2. A21 in the second it is 16 by 2. Then last it is 36 by 2. One more thing we can do. If you want, here all the elements, uh, 1 by 2 is common. So it is 1 by 2 into matrix 9, 25, 16, 36. Okay, this is a 2 by 2 matrix. Next one it is, we are asked to formulate a 3 by 4 matrix. 3 by 4 ones, uh, you should have a clear picture that 12 elements will be the total. Now, we are not going to find out each and all the 12 elements calculation we will not write and do. But we can do it orally also. Some few I will write. It is, first one it is A11 is equal to. Now, for making it simple, 1 by 2 we will keep it outside only. And finally, we can make it minus 3 into 1 plus 1 which is equal to minus 3 plus 1, it is minus 2, minus 2 modulus, it is 2, 2 by 2. But 1 by 2, let it be a common there, 1 by 2, 2. Then A12 is equal to 1 by 2 minus 3 into 1 plus 2. It is minus 3 plus 2, it is minus 1, minus 1 modulus is 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 into 1. So similarly, A13 is equal to 1 by 2 minus 3 into 1 plus 3 which is equal to 1 by 2, minus 3 plus 3 0, you know, modulus of 0 is 0, it is 0. So each time, I'm not going to write 1 by 2, we will finally make it outside, right, it is 0. So one more, just one more if you want, it can be 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 2 determinants minus 3 into 1 plus 4, which is equal to 1 by 2 minus 3 plus, minus 3 plus 4 is 1, modulus of 1 is 1. Now, let us write directly at this, the matrix A is equal to, matrix A is equal to matrix, we are going to write the elements here A11 already, 1 by 2 we will keep outside. So we are going to write first element is 2, then 1, then 0, then 1. Now, you need not write all these steps separately. Directly you can write here, just by direct calculation. This is an element 2, 1. 2, 1, 2, 3, minus 3 into 2, plus 1. Which is equal to minus 6 plus 1, minus 5. Modulus it is 5, 5, 5. Similarly, 2, 2, when substituting it is 4. 2, 3, if you substitute, minus 6 plus 3, which is minus 3, modulus it is 3, 3 by 2 is already there. Then similarly, this is 2, 4, 8 it is for 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3 and 3, 4. By the substitution, you can calculate and write it. Given these two matrices are equal. So equating the corresponding elements, we will be getting the equation A minus B is equal to minus 1, put it as equation number 1. 2A minus B is equal to 0, equation number 2. And I'll write here, 2a plus c is equal to corresponding element 5, equation number 3, and 3c plus d is equal to 3c plus d is equal to 13, equation number 4. Now we are asked to find out the values a, b, c. First you observe these two, we can see uh, this first equation contains a and b, second equation also contains a and b so that we can find out the value just to subtract 2 minus 1. 2, equation 2 minus equation 1 gives 2a minus a, a. Minus B minus B is 0. 0 minus of minus 1, 1. So we got the value A is equal to 1 directly. Now you see, this value you substitute in 1 or 2. So I will write 1 implies 
a is equal to 1, take minus b to right side so that b is equal to a plus 1. a plus 1, a is equal to 1, so b is equal to 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. So we got a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2. Now concentrate here. Equation 3 implies c equal to, a value we know, c equal to 5 minus 2a. That is, c is equal to 5 minus, a is 1, 5 minus 2 into 1, 5 minus 2, which is equal to 3. So we got c is equal to 3. Now substitute this value in b. Equation 4 implies d equal to, d equal to 13 minus 3c. Now, c is equal to 3 already we got. So, 3c, which is 3 into 3, which is 9. That is, d is equal to 13 minus 9, that is, d is equal to 4. Thus, we got all the values as a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, c is equal to 3, and d is equal to 4. All the values we got. In the next class, we will discuss some of the operations and the properties.